The Kansas City Royals struck first in their American League wildcard series against the Baltimore Orioles, securing a 5-3 victory in a thrilling Game 1 at Camden Yards. The Royals' offense came alive late in the game to overcome an early deficit. The game was a back-and-forth affair early on, with both teams trading blows. However, it was the Royals who landed the decisive punch in the later innings. Combination of timely hitting and clutch pitching proved to be the difference maker. The Royals' bullpen stepped up admirably to shut down the Orioles in the late innings. A game two at Camden Yards promised to be a captivating spectacle. The Orioles, facing elimination, were eager to bounce back and even the series. The home crowd, a sea of orange and black, would undoubtedly be in full voice, their cheers echoing throughout the stadium. The pressure was palpable, the atmosphere electric. For the Orioles, the game represented more than just a chance to avoid elimination. It was an opportunity to exercise the demons of past postseason failures. The Royals, on the other hand, were riding high after their Game 1 victory. Two players who shone brightly for the Royals in Game 1 were Bobby Witt Jr. and starting pitcher Cole Reagans. Both players delivered performances that will be remembered for a long time. Witt, the young phenom, showcased his immense talent with a performance that belied his years. His batting was on point and he made several key plays that kept the momentum in the Royals' favour. His ability to impact the game both offensively and defensively was evident throughout the night. Witt's quick reflexes and sharp instincts were on full display, making him a standout player. Reagans, making his post-season debut, delivered a gutsy performance on the mound. He showed remarkable composure for a player in his first playoff appearance. He navigated the Orioles' lineup with poise and precision, keeping his team in the game despite facing constant pressure. His pitch selection was masterful, and he kept the hitters off balance all night. His ability to limit the damage in key situations proved crucial in the Royals' victory. Reagan's mental toughness and strategic pitching were key factors in shutting down the Orioles' offense. Witt's performance was a testament to his burgeoning potential. His energy and enthusiasm were infectious, lifting the spirits of his teammates and the fans. Reagan's exhibited the type of grit and determination that is essential for postseason success. His ability to stay calm under pressure and deliver when it mattered most was truly impressive. Together, Witt and Reagan's have set the stage for what could be a memorable postseason run for the Royals. Their performances in Game 1 have given fans hope and excitement for the games to come. Despite their Game 1 victory, the Royals knew that sweeping the Orioles in Baltimore would be a difficult task. The Orioles, with their backs against the wall, were sure to come out fighting in Game 2. The Royals, aware of the challenge ahead, were prepared for a battle. The Royals, a team that had endured its fair share of struggles in recent years, were determined to prove that their resurgence was no fluke. They were a team on a mission, their sights set on a deep playoff run. The Orioles the Orioles, however, stood in their way, representing a significant obstacle on their path to glory. The Orioles, on the other hand, were facing a familiar foe, their own postseason demons. Their recent playoff history had been marred by disappointment, and they were desperate to break the cycle. The pressure was immense, the weight of expectation heavy on their shoulders. The Orioles, a proud franchise with a rich history, were eager to add another chapter to their storied legacy. However, their recent playoff struggles had cast a shadow over their accomplishments, leaving them yearning for a return to glory. The current team, determined to create its own identity, was eager to shed the burden of the past and forge a new path. Game two featured an intriguing pitching matchup. Seth Lugo for the Royals against Zach Eflin for the Orioles. Both pitchers brought their unique styles to the mound, setting the stage for a captivating duel. Lugo, a veteran right-hander, relied on his craftiness and experience to keep hitters off balance. His years in the league had taught him the importance of precision and strategy, making him a formidable opponent. My ability to mix my pitches effectively and keep hitters guessing is crucial, especially in these pressure-packed playoff games. It's not just about speed, 
It's about outsmarting the batter and staying one step ahead. Eflin, a hard-throwing righty, possessed the type of electric stuff that could dominate hitters on any given night. His fastball was his weapon of choice, often leaving batters struggling to keep up. Establishing my fastball early in the count is key. It sets the tone for the at-bat and allows me to control the pace of the game. If I can get ahead of hitters, I can then utilize my off-speed pitches to keep them off balance. Mixing in a curveball or changeup keeps them guessing and makes my fastball even more effective. Lugo, a seasoned competitor, had a knack for elevating his game in crucial moments. His calm demeanor under pressure was a testament to his experience and mental toughness. His ability to mix his pitches effectively and keep hitters guessing made him a difficult matchup. Batters often found themselves swinging at pitches they couldn't quite read. Eflin's ability to establish his fastball early in the count would be crucial for his success. By setting the tone with his fastball, he could then use his secondary pitches to keep hitters off balance. The pitching matchup promised to be a fascinating chess match, a clash of styles that could very well determine the outcome of the game. Fans eagerly anticipated how these contrasting approaches would play out on the field, knowing that every pitch could tip the scales in this high-stakes contest. The stakes for Game 2 were simple win or go home. For the Orioles, a loss would mean the end of their season and another year of waiting for a chance at playoff glory. The Royals, on the other hand, had an opportunity to complete the sweep and advance to the Aldis. The Orioles, facing elimination, knew that desperation could be a powerful motivator. They needed to draw upon the energy of their home crowd and play with a sense of urgency. For the Royals, the opportunity to eliminate a division rival and advance in the playoffs was a tantalizing prospect. The Orioles, however, were not ready to relinquish their season without a fight. The importance of momentum, a look ahead. Momentum in baseball is often fleeting, but it can be a powerful force in a short series. The Royals, with a win in Game 1, had seized the momentum early on. However, they knew that the Orioles were more than capable of swinging it back in their favor with a strong performance in Game 2. Momentum in baseball is often described as the next day's starting pitcher and for good reason. A dominant pitching performance can energize a team and swing the momentum in their favor. Conversely, a poor outing can deflate a team and put them on their heels. The bullpen battle a game of inches. In the late innings, the game often comes down to a battle of the bullpens. Both the Royals and Orioles boasted talented relief corps, capable of shutting down opposing hitters in high leverage situations. The bullpens, often overlooked during the regular season, took center stage in the playoffs, their performances often dictating the outcome of games. The bullpens, often tasked with protecting narrow leads in pressure-packed situations, needed to be at their best. A single mistake, a misplaced pitch, could be the difference between victory and defeat. The Royals' bullpen, a question mark for much of the season, had stepped up admirably in Game 1. The manager's chess match key decisions loom large. In the playoffs, the manager's decisions often come under intense scrutiny. Every pitching change, every substitution, every strategic maneuver is analyzed and scrutinized. The managers, tasked with guiding their teams to victory, faced a constant barrage of pressure and second guessing. The managers, in addition to making in-game decisions, also needed to manage their players' emotions. The pressure of the playoffs could be overwhelming and it was essential for the managers to keep their players focused and motivated. A calm and steady hand at the helm could often be the difference between a team crumbling under pressure and rising to the occasion. The final word, a night of destiny awaits. As the sun began to set over Camden Yards, casting long shadows across the field, the stage was set for a pivotal game too. The air was thick with anticipation and the atmosphere crackled with the energy of thousands of fans who had gathered to witness this crucial moment in the series. The Orioles, facing elimination, were prepared to leave everything on the field in a desperate attempt to keep their season alive. Each player knew the stakes and the weight of their hopes and dreams rested on their shoulders. The tension was palpable as they went through their warm-ups, each movement precise and deliberate. The Royals, on the other hand, were eager to complete the sweep and advance to the next round. Their confidence was evident as they strategized and practiced, each player focused on the task at hand. 
They knew that a win tonight would propel them forward, closer to their ultimate goal. Game two promised to be a night of high drama, a clash of styles, and a testament to the unpredictable nature of baseball. Every pitch, every swing, every play would be scrutinized and remembered. The pressure was immense, but so was the potential for glory. The fans, both at Camden Yards and watching from home, were in for a treat, a game that would be remembered for years to come. Their cheers and chants filled the air, creating a symphony of support that echoed through the stadium and beyond. This was more than just a game, it was a shared experience, a moment of collective passion and excitement. The outcome of Game 2 would have a profound impact on both franchises. It would shape their future, define their season and leave an indelible mark on the hearts of their fans. Whether in victory or defeat, this night would be etched in the annals of baseball history.